Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Payton Forbes. Please join for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is March 29th, 2022. I hope you all had a spectacular spring break. Now let's take a brain break. For today's brain break and the seal technique, we'll be showing you a little skit representing expressing your feelings through words. Hey, are you okay? Can you please just leave me alone? Oh, okay. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. In this situation, Aiden is being very vague about his feelings. Sometimes, when you feel sad or negative, it's better to share how you feel and to let it all out. Because if you keep it all bottled in, you'll eventually explode. So, with this new information, let's see if Aiden can have a different outcome. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. Actually, no. One of my closest friends just left the school. Oh. Two years ago, one of my closest friends left too. But since then, I've made new friends. But how did you get over her? Did you just forget about her? Because I don't think I can. No, of course not. Instead of constantly worrying over her, I made new friends that made me feel better. Well, I guess I'll just try to make new friends. Well, you just made one. As we can see, the second time around, when Aiden expressed his feelings, he had a positive outcome and made a new friend. This is a perfect example of why you should express your feelings and not bottle your feelings up. So, see you next time for our next brain break and the sale technique. See you on the later. Nothing like a relaxing brain break to kick off the week. Now, let's go to word of the day. Hey, Randy. Did you understand the topic that we learned today in class? No, I found it really enigmatic. Oh, same. It was so difficult to understand. Well, do you want to study after school? I'm sure if we practice, we'll find it way less enigmatic. Yeah, sure. See you tomorrow, tomorrow on, on Word of the Day. day. It's always good to expand your vocabulary. Now let's go to Scott for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Peyton. Sports fans, the game of curling, or the roaring game, is one of the world's oldest sports and it originated in Scotland. In curling, two teams take turns sliding a curling stone across an ice floor towards a target. The curling refers to the rotation of the stone as it crosses the slightly bumpy path. Its history is pretty simple as the sport began as a challenge between a Scottish monk and his cousin. The Scottish people have perfected the art of smoothing and shaping the granite rock over centuries with a handle on the top. Who knew it could be so much fun running a large stone across an ice pond without touching it? Now let's go to Sonia to see what's cooking. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch sure is delicious. It is crunchy chicken tenders, broccoli, applesauce, barbecue sauce, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please make sure to let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. Bye, buddy. Let's go back to Peyton. That sounds so good. I can't wait for lunch. Thank you, Sonia. Your books are now on sale. It's $30 until April 8th, and after April 8th, the prices will rise to $35. So get yours while you can. It's sold on myschoolbooks.com. Patriots, the hero store is open. Get there by 7.15 a.m. to avoid the lines. Scholars, the National Junior Honor Society has their first ever meeting today. If you're in this group, then make sure to go. Patriots, picture day has been canceled. We will send out information when we have a new date. Also, the academic celebrations are today. I hope you receive an award. Now, let's see what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather in Pines is... In other weather news, a New Zealand couple recently grew the world's biggest potato. Or, at least they thought they did. Take a look at this. What they thought was a potato was actually a gourd. If you didn't know what a gourd is, 
A gourd is any kind of swollen or large fruit, such as pumpkins and cucumbers. This gourd was 17 pounds and 1 foot 7 inches in length. Interestingly enough, the couple named the swollen stem Doug. Now let's head to Chanel for our hot topic. Thank you, David. Hey, Patriots. Welcome to Hot Topic. It's just me today, but let's hear what's trending this week. Welcome back. Hopefully you all enjoyed your spring break. Now it's time for testing. Make sure you get lots of sleep, eat some breakfast, try your best, and don't give up. You've got it. Here's some surprising news in NFL. Tom Brady is back. Tom Brady came back to the NFL Sunday, March 20th. Can you believe he's back for his 23rd season? This is odd. People are thinking about making daylight savings time permanent. Honestly, I wouldn't mind having more sun during the day and catching more Z's. Today feels musical. Maybe it's because it's World Piano Day. Did you know the first piano was made in the 1700s? The piano was created with the idea of giving musicians the control over sound. That's it for this week, Patriots. Now let's go to Valencia for the birthdays. Thanks, Chanel. Today's birthday boys and girls are Justin Ortiz, Eliani Mota, Elazar Hernandez, Mackenzie Goni, and Leandre Clark. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Valencia. Patriots, here are your past expectations. They are present, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for our previous trivia winners. Congrats to Miss Only and Miss Blanc. You had the correct answer to Thursday's trivia question, which was, what bones are babies born without? The correct answer is kneecaps. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. What are the two most popular spices in the world? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!